It smells like, like a car crash, like burning tires. PhD student Danel Zhozhanova isn't in a vehicle. She's playing a video game. The smell she's describing is coming from a scent tube on the gaming headset she's wearing. It's a prototype for a novel experiment at the intersection of gaming and sensory science, looking at the use of olfactory stimuli in a virtual racing scenario and whether it could give users a boost. Professor Alan Chalmers at the University of Warwick, which is celebrating its 60th anniversary, is leading the research. Gaming, of course, people want a more gaming, immersive gaming experience. And of course, smell is a very important part of the real world. So in the driving simulation that we're doing here, if you have the smell of the burning brakes, of course, it's going to indicate there's a problem and you should maybe step, take your foot of the brake. So if you didn't have that smell of burning in the game, you wouldn't, you wouldn't respond correctly. The headset was designed to release specific odors such as machine oil and burning rubber at critical moments in the game. But Chalmers acknowledges those aren't exactly winning smells inside your home. Smell of vision and, and scratch and sniff have been around for a long time, but the big problem with any smell is if you puff smell into an environment, how do you get rid of it? So really the research element is trying to deliver just the right amount of smell that you have the immersive experience without completely smothering the whole environment in it. The project is a collaboration with video game developers Hollywood Gaming. They're aiming to create the next big thing in gaming, though the research has applications beyond the game console. Samples and just try one. Chalmers and his team have also developed a prototype device that tests people's sense of taste. He says it could be used as an early screening tool for Alzheimer's disease by measuring how someone's sense of smell and taste changes over time in, say, a cooking game. We can check how good you are compared to your age, your sex, your ethnicity, or compared to yourself six months ago. If you're not where you should be, then you could have a problem and you should be looked at further.